Welcome back to Battletech with the mod Extended 3025. This is Dr. Obsidia. Thanks for joining. Got a couple mechs under repair, and most of our mech warriors are fatigued, but they're about to come back. Um, and we just passed a day, but uh, we still got our mechs here that are being repaired. One is four days out, one is two, but the brawler is what we need, and I should have moved him up before passing time. Because one mech is pretty seriously damaged. So I'm going to pop the brawler up so he can be in our next major fight. Because we will pass one day after this next battle. But we might as well run one. Because we do have a tag team here. For this situation, we've detected a joint task force of local government and mercenary troops. We need to hunt them down, turn them to scrap. We'd like you to send a lance to accompany our own team. The two of you can engage the enemy together and negate their numerical advantage. So, we've got a couple of our people going in. Uh, well, I guess a few. Um, Lance slots require both of them. Yeah, mech wear. So we need to put our fire starter back in. This is a different fire starter. We're going in with our friends against two of the enemy groups too. Let's pull all these guys out. Now this may be a bit of overkill with the Shadowhawk, the Griffin, and the Thunderbolt. So I think I might drop off um, the Thunderbolt so that we can run with uh, another mech instead. A lighter mech. Something decent. Um, Cicada is not very good. Its firepower is so weak. I may take our commando in. I haven't taken him in for a while. He's got three firepower. He has no jump jets, so he just runs in and shoots. But I would kind of like some jump jets there. Two SRM6s. Uh, he has a medium laser which gives him a bit more firepower whereas the javelin does not but it does give us some jumping ability I'm gonna go ahead and drop the javelin in okay let's see here fireball is gonna be on our shadow hawk and tick can take the javelin since he's pretty new I don't expect him to do much other than pilot the thing and he's got good piloting the uh, fire starter is probably going to be running with Crab Shack. That leaves Sturm to f pilot the Griffin. And that's alright. The Griffin's kind of in the back. Not going to be taking as much. Should still be able to handle everything. Although I'm not enjoying taking the lighter mechs as much as I used to because they tend to get beat up really bad with only half the armor. Even a third of the armor of some of our heavier stuff. It's always good to have one light mech that you really love. <laughs> that seems to be the case with most games, right? Uh, have you ever played uh, something like uh, uh, Battlestar Galactica for PC? One of the things is there's a ship called a Manticore, and the Manticore is something that you get very early on, and it's fast, and it's kind of a scout type ship, but even later on, when you would probably want to take Battlestars in, and you are taking battle stars in, and you, you have space to take bigger stuff, you still kind of keep the Manticore around, because it's fast, and it can deliver a pretty good wallop. And uh, even though it's weak, it can dive in and out of the formations and so on. So Kind of the same thing with the lighter mechs here, too. They get a whole bunch of evasion, they can distract shots, and they can also get away when things start turning south if they get hit too hard. Of course, they can get killed pretty fast by AC-20s as well, especially if they get hit in the chest. Command interface initiated. Last time I talked about stability a little bit, um, and in this mod, stability is definitely different than the other one. Now here comes our friends. Uh, than the original. So stability in the in this one and the original are similar in that the, the function is still the same, but uh, one of the things to mention about the stability is the way to knock the mech over um, 
is I think you have to, ma if I recall, you have to max out the stability damage and then hit them one more time, and that'll knock them over. You get that bar all the way filled up. And then if you brace, if you brace, it'll take, uh, they'll take 50% less stability, and it will give them, that's the entrench, and it also removes the unsteady from the mech, and that you'll, you might see them us knocking mechs around and they get the unsteady feature. In this mod, if you want to get the mechs unsteady and knock them over just by blasting them with firepower, you kind of want to build for that, I think. And it's nice to have a mech with an unsteady and you can knock over mechs. You look for mechs that are getting beat up a little bit by regular attacks, and then you unload on them with your stability mech and knock them down, and that really does a lot of damage to them. All right, so we have to make sure the Davians survive here. I'm gonna stay in the trees. Roger. We're already making contact here with the enemy. Uh, our javelin. We'll set him off to the side. Move into position. Our brawler needs to get right in their face, though. Position confirmed. We're going to see a lot of <laughs> other mechs moving before we do much. A wasp. Am I supposed to be intimidated by that? Actually, jump up here and open fire on these guys. It's in range of the uh, optimal range. Right, there. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's see what we can see over here. <laughs> They're just talking chitter chatter. All right, they got a fire starter, a locust there. And they have no armor pips yet, so blasting them would be a good thing. There's a phoenix hawk over there, which is kind of risky. We're gonna go ahead and open fire on uh, probably the f the yeah fire starter. Targeting right now. Structure exposed. He's got a lot of evasion for sitting up there from that jump. I will jump him out of there if he starts taking too much fire. Crab shack. It's a pretty good spot. He's kind of got some high cover there. A little bit of partial. Uh, line of sight as well. We're going to sprint up there. Waiting on you, Commander. Derm. Yeah, I think we're going to probably jump. Time to fly! So that we can get a better position. Open fire, probably on the fire starter. That locust is a tempting target too, but the fire starter has a leg that's exposed. So we're gonna go ahead and shoot him. Didn't even hit the leg. Is that three large lasers? That's impressive. Fire starter is unsteady. Now he should get his, his steadiness back now. Because he moved. Yeah, he took it back. Alright. That's what he's up there, the javelin. Just hanging out, see what we can see. Receiving you. jump not very far. No, oh, we're gonna move. No problem. On my way. Alright. Let's see. We've got a Phoenix Hawk and a Shadow Hawk down here. I'm gonna target the Shadow Hawk because I think the Phoenix Hawk might be braced. He's guarded. 20% damage, let increase. Okay, so let's, uh, of course, we're gonna target 
fire starter. And let's take a look at the locust just in case here. All right. Oh, we can only see one enemy there. But the LRM has a few targets. Probably A. B is a miss. And C is okay. I think we're going to go for A. Right there, because he needs a lot of hits before we can take him down. Roger. Missed with our key stuff. Big damage from the SRMs, though. For a minute there, I thought that was our brawler. What are you shooting at? Not the brawler, but uh, our other fire starter. Better not be betraying me. Minimal damage on that hit. Those seem like mostly medium mechs back there. Well, that may have been a wasp. Wow. Crab Shack, what can you do? Firestarter still has almost all of his, his stuff. And we got a couple things here. That Firestarter is way too close for comfort. Let's go ahead and just get up there and punch him. Acknowledged. I guess this mech is not geared for punching. <laughs> We still got a jump jet, though. I, I kind of forgot that it's not the brawler. So used to ex and excited to punch. And I totally forgot it's not our brawler, it's our other mech. It's just our regular fire starter. All right, well, <laughs> they're probably wondering, what is he doing? What is he doing bringing in a fire starter and thinking he can punch with it? To be fair, Crab Check probably drank too much the night before and got confused of which fire starter he was in, because we do have three of them. Uh, which one was I driving? Punch and realize, wait, this is the one without the arm mod. Ouch. I just lost a, well, okay, MG My crit. coming apart around me. Yeah, that's not a good thing. Standing by. Didn't jump behind this mech right here, but don't know that it's a good idea to be right amongst these <laughs> medium mechs with a light one. Um, nor is it such a good idea to be in front of these mechs either. Uh, we can jump down in front of these uh, lighter mechs. Engaging jump jet. Fire at the fire starter, I believe. Yeah. Melee attack. Oh, that's on my Griffin too. Meyer damage, Commander. All this heat coming in now too. I think he's okay, but that's gonna make it so that I can't fire off his PPC. I bet. Gonna get behind the griffin. Oh, okay, he's going after the wasp. That's our wasp. Good to go. Getting the trees here. Always a good place to be. No good shots, though. We can split that up, because we do have this phoenix over here, and a fire starter, and maybe uh, we'll take a look at him too. All right, no fire on B. If C is no much, not much better. We'll just target B. Okay, there we go. A's got the longer range stuff, and B is the fire starter right in front of us. Affirmative. Some good hits there. Okay, that that helps a little bit. Critical hit, Commander. Lost his left torso, and that arm goes with it. Here's the Ostrock. 
This should do a little bit of damage. Oh, you didn't hit anything. Why are you shooting at a wasp with three medium lasers? When I've taken off so much evasion from everybody else. Firestarter might be in a little bit of trouble there. This Firestarter has problems on his left arm and that's what they're shooting. Good to go. Let's see the Griffin. Let's see if I jump he's gonna overheat. Uh, so we can't shoot much. Falling back's not gonna be a big deal either. He's still okay. I think we'll just do this and rotate back. You betcha. I mean, his armor's still holding. Just doesn't like to be up in this. No good shots there. Yeah, see, even the PPC's gonna overheat him. Well, we can fire the LRM. You can see it's gonna drop the heat down. He's on fire, so he's gonna suffer. Because of the mod, he's gonna suffer uh, heat next round, too. Time to die! Divides the heat up in half so that the fire starters and the flamers aren't overpowering, because they are in the original game. Wow. I don't know what that was, but it's dead. Looked like the fire starter. No? Fire starter's still standing there. That was a wasp. Just melted that thing. Commander. Alright, well, Crab Shack realized his mistake now. Her mistake. And is going to fall back and turn back, I think. Fall back between these rocks. Turn back and fire the medium lasers here. That's what this mech was geared for. <laughs> Pretty bad shots, though. 28% on the torso ones, and the arms get a little bit of a boost. 43. Two hits, though. Right leg's down. Panicked. There's the right leg in the red there. That will never recover, no matter how much he braces. Called shot. Incapacitated the pilot by destroying the torso. You do take uh, pilot injuries when things get destroyed. So we've taken out most of the light problems. Now we have to deal with the medium stuff coming up the hill. Yes, Commander. Run over here. It's going to be the best bet is to run, rotate. There we go. That got through a bit. Medium laser crit. Good. Targets taking a critical hit. That was a good use of the SRMs. Just worried a little bit. He's only got four evasion. The wasp may take a shot at him and lower it. Yep. He's only got a three. He's a light mech. Systems holding. Tick could be in a bit of trouble here. Another wasp. Now he's only got two evasion. Light damage. Holding Tick. firm. I hear ya. Tick seems pretty confident. I think we can just sit here and fire. Nope. Well, if we shut off. Commander. Whoops. What can I do for you? Yeah, we can fire off the PPC now, which is the better bet. As uh, arm is exposed with only three. Let's go ahead and fire the PPC into that mess. Special delivery! I went to the leg. With the LRM, we probably could have taken the arm off, which would probably have been a better chance, better choice. Oh. Going after that locust. Oh, he knocked it down. He took out the lake, I guess. We're in the trees. I think we're okay. 20% damage reduction from cover. 
Yes, Commander. Our Shadowhawk will Location step in front confirmed. of the Griffin. Help cover him. Don't care about the Wasp. Yeah, let's go after the Phoenix Hawk. The SRM's only got 50% chance to hit, but we'll take the shot. He's firing on target. Close his arm. That hit something good. He's unsteady. Step on him. Boom! We're just messing with that poor mech pilot over there. There's work to do. Whoa. All right, Javelin. Um, I think we're gonna keep harassing them by staying amongst their formation here. The heat is a problem. But we might still be able to fire off our SRMs here. Yep. There we go, left leg destroyed. He's going down. Ooh, and that'll injure the pilot, knock his initiative down. <laughs> They're just playing with that poor, poor locust over there. Uh-oh. Oh, that's 40% damage reduction. Bulwark. Yes, Commander. Fire starter. Uh, mineral field makes it difficult to hit, but also difficult to make attacks, too cross through there. I think we're going to come over this hill here. Look at this. Come over the hill, turn back, and we can actually see the Shadowhawk there. Open fire on him. The other mechs are facing the other direction, so they may not be worried about me. 78% chance. We can target. Um, maybe we just target his torso. Try to take that out. He's got jump jets on it. Nothing special, but the explosion might Make him eject. Acknowledge. Close his torso. Rest gets transferred in. Pilot's injured. Means he's not going to be able to hit as well anyway. All shots can be made. Like I said, you can just right click the mechs and then you can see and mouse over stuff. And see, he's unsettled, so he's got some difficulty making hits. All right. Waiting for orders. Sturm still dealing with heat issues. We're going to stay. I would like to take a shot at the one that's down, and I have to move way back here to do it, I think. Yeah, it's okay. Let's go back. Okay, we can we can do it. Let's go for his torso. Take this. He's incapacitated. He lost some ammo explosions. Looks like his MG ammo blew up. That's gonna hurt the pilot. You guys still picking on him? There we go. Had to be done. Probably got surprised by that. Standing by. We have bulwark, so if we just sit here, we can actually tee off uh, from the rough and um, be pretty safe. I'm not too worried about what they can do, but we might as well move and get at least one evasion. Close in on the shadowhawk a bit. The other shadowhawk, not me. We'll uh, divide this up, I think. A 
think the LRM is probably better against B. Oh. All right, we'll shoot the AC-5 at B. Why not? Engaging He's just a wasp, so it's going to hurt him real bad. See that? <laughs> His SRM ammo blew up. Scored a critical hit. Ammo explosion injured the pilot. Oh, oh. He just took all kinds of damage. Injuries, knocked down, lost his arm, lost his leg. Pilot's incapacitated, took too many injuries. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is why the Wasp is a fairly useless mech. No firepower, nothing but speed. Speed isn't going to cut it. Orders. You're just going to sit here and get lit up. Let's get behind this guy. Acknowledged. We're going to overheat my mech here. Overheat warning. How many of these have to shut down? One. Uh, let's just let's go ahead and overheat it. Um, well, it might blow up my arm because it'll take structure damage to the arm. My left arm's exposed too. That's pretty horrible. All right, let's fire everything into fire his back. We destroyed his interface. Reporting critical hit. That was a critical hit through his armor, so. You can score critical hits through the armor. It's not common, but it does happen. Good to go. Can we get another shot from behind. There we go. This is going to overheat us, but that's okay. We're going to fire everything we can right into his back. Copy that. I was hoping that did more than that, but we did get a jump jet. Now he's overheating, and it is dangerous to overheat with that um, ammo there he's got. He could blow himself all apart. Let's check him out here. You can see a structure has taken some damage overall. Um, each location now has structure damage from overheating. Orders. All right, Fireball has a couple choices here, but we can get in the rear arc of this mech that's running from us. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Moving out. Um, I'm not going to fire the LRM. Let, let me cool down just a little bit here. The rest can shoot on your tail. It hits. Yeah. Ignoring cover because it's a rear shot. It's taking a critical hit. He's panicking from all these hits he's taken. He's gonna take a bunch more too. In the back. He's losing his other arm. There he goes. Yeah! <laughs> he's out of there. What can I do for you? Term's close enough to just punch this thing. Let's go ahead and punch him. That'll give us a chance to cool down too. Want some more, huh? Don't need to just keep shooting at this guy and missing. We're just gonna punch him. He didn't go very far, did he? Standing by. We'll jump over there. Copy that. We're gonna have trouble with heat though. Doing that jump. Can we, we can't fire anything without overheating. We're gonna overheat. Just stand in here. <laughs> we'll brace. There, see, we, we overheated just standing there after that. <laughs> Oh boy. Okay, well, you're gonna brace so that you can cool down. We hit with the large laser. Waiting for orders. 
come back and unload on this guy. It's funny how uh, the fire starters overheating just from the jump, but I guess it's the case. We're gonna fire everything. I got him. We got him. Tango down. Well, boss, how did it feel to work with real professionals? The targets are down and the good guys made it out. That's all that matters. Mission successful. They kind of trickled in, starting with the lights and moving on to the mediums and then finishing with the lights. That kind of moved in with it, so we were able to handle that pretty well once we circled up and hit them in, in a pseudo crossfire. Uh, the fire starter took a bit of damage and some overheat damage and the javelin overheated himself. To try to take down the Shadowhawk, which probably he didn't need to do, but we were in the rear arc. He had some. Uh, some of it was exposed. Look at all those mechs. Don't really need anything. Grab a Phoenix Hawk. Again, I don't really care for the Phoenix Hawk because the large engine. Grab another Shadowhawk piece. The most expensive piece out there. So, yeah, okay. Got the other one too. Another Shadowhawk. I don't know. I guess we could put the arm mod on the Shadowhawk because they do get a plus two to the melee attacks. Might be interesting. bump up some of these tasks here. I don't care about the javelin, but I do care about the second fire starter. All of our fire starters are down right now. Which is okay, but um, definitely want to have one up for the, the brawler especially. Anyway, our mech warriors are all down too for the most part. Waiting for orders. Tick is going to gain some gunnery. Mech warrior training complete. What's up, boss? Grabshack could start running up as well, and I think kind of hard to remember from campaign or from day to day what I was gonna do with Crabshack and all the others until I commit by by spending above. Now I know where I'm going. Crabshack is a pilot, and uh, we don't have anybody who has the master tactician. And Crabshack is gonna be the one that goes after that. I think. But we can do called shot bonus now, which Training is nice. Confirmed, Commander. For Crab Shack. Uh, who else was on that mission? Oh, uh, try to remember. Sturm. Waiting for orders. Sturm gets the second uh, option here. And Sturm is rebellious, nobility, nothing special. Sturm is a Turian. Sensor lock. Can move after shooting. Um, hmm. It's always good to go with piloting. Uh, move after shooting. But I think uh, we might go gunnery this time. Just to mix it up a bit. Training complete. Just to mix it up. And then tick. Receiving you. Is there Sturm? And what's up, boss? Who was the other one? Crab Shack. Ready for orders. And I think it was. Uh, who else was on that mission? Oh, I can't even remember. <laughs> Receiving you. Well, Basilis needs to train. Yeah, he's getting close. 
It's a plus twenty percent maximum sprint, which is nice. Mech warrior training complete. Commander. Click through everybody, make sure everybody's trained up where they What's need up, to be. Boss? Aye aye. Standing by. Orders. Hey. Okay, the kid. Uh, the kid is probably going for the breaching shot, I believe. Yeah, we're going for breaching shot with the kid. Kid can run around and try to breach Training with a single weapon, such as a PPE or something. Lighter mech is good for that. The panther is what I would like, but yeah, getting one of those is not so easy. All right. Always good to see you in Ops, Commander. Glancing at the contracts, we still have three left, but these are two scholars. Um, well, they want us to go on a solo duel, which is always fun. Travel to uh, Althea's Choice, a desert solo duel. Let's check the star map here. Commander on deck. Travel contract. Althea's choice. Well, that's got a black market. I would actually like to do that one. 18 days. Only one star or one skull. Our mech warriors are all fatigued, but uh, only for a day before a bunch of them come back. See that? And um, it's only a day before our brawler comes back, so it might be a shame to abandon some two skull contracts, uh, especially when some of them are paying so well. Okay, we'll do a couple more here, maybe one or more or so, and then I'm thinking we're gonna head to Life Lesson to check the black market and get back amongst the Torians if possible, since they do pay better than most. And a solo duel, well, you know who we're sending in for that one. <laughs> We're going to teach a punk kid. The uh, brawler is not something to be toyed with. You don't just stand off and shoot at each other and jump around. You get punched in the face. All right. Have a great day. Thanks for joining. Catch you in the next episode.